Hello friends, welcome to this investment banking tutorial from Wall Street Mojo. Now the next thing to focus on is restructuring and reorganization of an entity in the event of bankruptcy. The two terms are very important in the context of those companies which are about to go bankrupt and are facing margin pressures or maybe cash issues and they may want to organize very quickly so they can take help from investment banks and maybe investment banks can help them strategically as well by uh, restructuring the financial aspects of their equity and debt. So investment banks have a larger role to play in this context. Let us now look at why investment banks are important when it comes to reorganization or restructuring of companies. Why? What happens is many a times companies may not be doing really good in terms of its businesses and may be facing cost pressures as well. So they may not be even able to pay their own set of cash obligations which may be related to debt etc. So these companies in such cases, let's assume, are on the verge of bankruptcy. So what these companies can do is that they can actually opt for either of the two or maybe a mix of both. One of them is restructuring and the other one is reorganization, which an investment banker can surely help. So let's first look at what is restructuring and how investment bankers can help in this case. So let's assume there's a huge debt on the books of ABC. A restructuring would mean selling a part of the asset to meet their cash obligations and paying off the debt. Second, it could be that converting a part of the debt into securities so that those who are bondholders, they would get the stocks in exchange of debt. Or it can also mean that the company can be entirely sold off. So investment banker can help restructure the original deal with the financiers and uh, kind of find a midway out in between. So all this is done primarily to rescue the company from bankruptcy, which will ultimately lead to nothing but just a shell company where only the debt holders may be able to recover only a partial amount. So this is where investment bankers can actually be handy. Second, it involves around reorganization, which means that you're reorganizing the company's strategy altogether. So let's say earlier, maybe the company was into emerging markets but let's assume that it's resulting in massive losses. So investment bankers may strategically advise whether they should continue with this market or possibly look at other markets like the developed markets. So investment bankers actually take a role of a consultant, they analyze competition, help the management look at the new focus areas and help them revive their financials. So it may also lead to change in management as well. So reorganization and restructuring are done by investment bankers for a fee which can be a standard fee or it can be a fee which is based on performance. So that's where again investment bankers play a very interesting role. With this, we hope that you have fully understood the restructuring and reorganization went and also learned in what scenarios these options are applicable. With this video, we have come to the end of the functions that investment banks offer. There are various other aspects yet to be known. Let's check out the last couple of videos to understand the structure, roles and responsibilities of the investment bank. See you there. Conclude today's discussion. A big thank you to everyone who tuned in from the Wall Street Mojo team. But hold on, the financial adventure continues. The next episode unfolds on Tuesday and we're super excited about what's in store. Make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on the financial insights coming your way. Until next time, this is the Wall Street Mojo team signing off. Stay informed, stay engaged, and stay Wall Street Mojo awesome.